The EVO 3 series is designed to deliver OptiFlow High Flow Therapy to spontaneously breathing patients. This video will demonstrate how to use the EVO 3 for OptiFlow High Flow Therapy. Before viewing this video, please watch and follow the EVO 3 OptiFlow High Flow Setup video. Plug the EVO 3 into the wall power socket. Turn on by holding down the power on off button for 2 seconds. Select a new patient or select the same patient to resume therapy for the same patient. For a new patient, ensure that the outlet elbow has been cleaned and disinfected. Select Confirm to continue. Select OptiFlow High Flow in the therapy bar if it is not already selected. To adjust the target humidity or flow, tap the respective tiles. Use the plus and minus button or slider to set the desired value. Tap Confirm to apply the change or cancel to discard any changes. The humidity and flow tiles of the home screen will display the target therapy settings. Tap the Start button to begin therapy. When therapy initiation is not urgent, it is recommended to wait until the EVO 3 displays Therapy On in the message bar before connecting the patient to the heated breathing tube. For patients that require supplementary oxygen, the EVO 3 can connect to either high or low pressure oxygen sources. If the oxygen is connected to the high pressure oxygen port, FiO2 can be adjusted on the EVO 3 and HPO will be displayed. Tap the oxygen tile and set the desired value. The oxygen tile on the home screen will display the target FiO2 value. If oxygen is connected to the low pressure oxygen port, LPO will be displayed on the tile. The EVO 3 does not directly control the FiO2. Use an external flow meter to adjust the FiO2 to the desired level. The oxygen tile on the home screen will display the measured FiO2 value. Fit the interface to the patient, following the user instructions supplied with the interface. Connect the patient interface to the breathing tube. Attach the breathing tube clip to the patient's clothing. The gas may feel warm when the patient first puts on the therapy. This is typical. They should simply continue to breathe normally. Monitor the patient according to hospital protocols and clinical judgment. Adjust settings as needed. Routinely check that there is water in the water chamber. Replace the water bag before the chamber runs out of water. The EVO 3 has visual and auditory alarms to notify users about interruptions to therapy. The signal light flashes and troubleshooting information is displayed on the EVO 3 touchscreen when any alarm is active. To temporarily silence the alarm, press the audio pause button. Use the left and right arrows to scroll through suggested resolutions. Some alarms have only one suggested resolution. Resolve the issue, in this case a disconnected breathing tube, by reconnecting the breathing tube to the top of the EVO 3. Once corrected, the EVO 3 will continue to deliver therapy to the patient. Please refer to the user manual for a list of compatible patient consumables.